So, Paul JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the real reason why Dwayne Wade left Jordan Brand for the Chinese company Li Ning. We'll get into his thought process behind the move and his sneaker history. As always, make sure to check out my past couple videos, one on Nike's summer promotion of the KD-11, and the other on the rise of Puma basketball. And leave a thumbs up on this video and your reaction in the comments down below for more Topic Tackle coming soon. I got an array of videos lined up and ready to drop, so keep checking in on the channel as they drop. We'll first start by looking at Wade's sneaker history and the decisions he made to end up with Lee Ning. When Wade first entered the league in the star-studded 2003 NBA draft, he inked a sneaker deal with Converse and rocked classics and his own signatures with the brand throughout his first six seasons. The Converse Wade run in the bread and white colorway became iconic in 2006 when he became finals MVP with historic performances against the Mavericks. In the following years, Converse dropped the Wade 2 and 3. He sported a USA colorway for the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, while seemingly everyone else wore the 2008 Hyperdunks. When you can do this with the Hyperdunks, why not wear them, right? It was reported that Wade inquired about switching allegiances from Converse to Jordan's brand before the 2008 Beijing Olympics, doing so in part about concern over Converse's long-term viability in the basketball marketplace. The request was denied and Wade proceeded to wear his new signature Converse model, the Wade 4, only once during the 2008-9 season where he was an MVP candidate and scoring title recipient. Wade was almost positive that a deal would get done before the 2009 season and it did. Although Wade still had three years remaining on his Converse contract, he was able to sign with Jordan much to the light of MJ himself. From the moment he signed, Wade wanted to take his Jordan signature shoes global, saying, it's something I feel like I have to do. I want to continue to build my brand. His start with Jordan saw him rocking retros, along with the new Air Jordan 2010 and 2011 models. Then came Wade's signature models, as he debuted the Jordan Fly Wade at commencement of the 2011 playoffs. Unfortunately, the shoe was a flop sales-wise, and Jordan got sued for Wade's logo, which resembled the logo of a company called Point Three Basketball. Hey, at least we got some of these Mission Impossible type commercials with Wade on a motorcycle and Kevin Hart out of this shoe, right? I mean, some good out of it. The logo was changed on the Jordan Flyway 2, but again, the shoe was a fly. As Wade and his camp couldn't reach an agreement with Jordan on his expiring contract in October 2012, he decided to sign with Lee Ning in September. Terms of the deal were never disclosed, but it was believed that Wade received a stake in the company. His motivation for leaving was similar to his motivation for joining Jordan, in that he wanted to take his brand global. On Wade's first tour with the brand in China, he said, if you've never been here, you might not really understand how amazing and how big basketball is. These fans in China love the sport and they have more players playing than we have people living in the US. Li Ning also gave Wade full creative control and six years later, there are 10 Wade stores in China with his own Way of Wade logo as a recognizable symbol. For Wade, it was and is all about building a brand. Like he's told his son Zaire, I'm building a brand and I'm building a Wade brand. So in a sense, I'm building this for you. I'll sign you to a shoe contract if you're good enough. In July, Wade inked a lifetime deal with Li Ning while revealing the way of Wade's seven. With this contract, he joins LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and Cristiano Ronaldo as the only athletes with lifetime sneaker deals. His goal is to put Li Ning shoes on US shelves, and with their growing lineup of young players such as CJ McCollum, this could be a possibility in the near future. Now we wait and see if Wade will suit up for his 16th season in the NBA, or take his talents to somewhere in China. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you ever consider buying the Li Ning Way of Wade basketball shoes? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.